the show Devoted, Instinct Gallery and artist curator Yoshi Rin brought together nine artists to work in a single space over the span of seven days. During these seven days, the whole exhibition changes at every moment. Because each artist brings in their own medium, their own ideas, their own personalities, to answer the single question, how do we get along with each other? How do we actually create space for us to relate with each other? And this show, we feel, kind of responds to our current times as well, where we live in a crowded city, where we actually have very loud opinions. So, in these very complex, dynamic times, how do we still kind of be open to actually being influenced by each other? What is the magic that connects us? Good or bad? Harmonious or uncomfortable? That's what Devoted's about. The title of my work is Till Death Do Us Part. In this work, I want to talk about the relationship between humans and technology and how we are connected to our mobile phones, how we are obsessed with our phones and how we are devoted to our mobile phones. It's like the mobile phone is your husband or your wife. You will not part with your wife or your husband till death. So in this work, I use many toy robots deep in Chinese ink to make the marks on these uh, Chinese scrolls. For Devoted, I want to use this space as a form of a containment where the equipment like the 360 camera and the VR mic, they are constantly recording what's going on in the show, especially with the audiences and the artists while they're performing. And, and I, will, I will play back the footages and the audience can also see it for themselves. They are being recorded. There's nothing hidden. Everything is exposed to them. And even while performing, the, the equipment is overkill. It is meant to reveal all the function, the image of the, of the equipment, and also the kind of images that is compelling them to watch over and over again. Uh, the work is inspired by Hans Andersen's The Emperor's New Clothes. So it's made up from seven to 8,000 circles. Each circle is traced from Singapore's $1 coin. It's hand-cut and weaved together. So the weaving of the circles together may look somewhat like an armour or the jet burial suit from ancient time. So uh, the material that I use is cellulose tape. So this cellulose tape is actually not permanent. So uh, the rope won't last. Even though it looks very precious and glittering, but all those glitters are not gold. My work explores the idea of one's desire and belief, so of power and wealth. What do we seek for uh, in this life? So we have devoted all our time in pursuing uh, all these things and we believe that they might safeguard us or serve us well in this temporal life. But my question is, will they? で、ボールペンや絵の具を普段使って絵を描いていますが、それと同じことをこのテープを使って使って作っています。で、え、何かを描くというのではなくて、たくさんの線を引くことで、その、それ自身が、それ自身が絵になっていくということを目指しております。この出来上がったもの、この鏡が、え、鏡のそのものイメージが観客やえ、世界をそのまま映し出してで、この世界その自身になるということを目指しています。
で今回の場合、えー、顔料にステンレスパウダーを含まれるような、えー、そういうアクリル絵の具を使っているんですけれどもこちら側のビニールを、えー重ねることでバッテリー状態にちょうどコンデンサーの原理なんですけれどもそういった電気を保持するという作品そのものが電気を手に入れるというような制作をしています。The starting point for this specific work was a very particular period in my life in 2018. That was after my lay partner passed away from cancer. After that, I had 12 months of really trying to be sensitive to what this period of mourning and grief was. A lot of it was with this feeling of being so close to someone that you just recently lost, but also not being able to have them next to you anymore. With that, I started using a lot of materials which had to do with cleaning, which had to do with clearing up affairs, trying to keep things neat in a very messy period. Here I use construction materials, PVC sheeting, which my contractor for the renovations used for my HDB flat. Pipes, water pipes that are going to be installed in the home. When formed together, they look almost like a fragile body. This reference that two and a half month period before he passed, when we were consulting a lot with doctors, but I was also negotiating with the contractor for my flat to do renovations. The period when there was a lot of uncertainty, the period when we still had to make decisions in spite of that uncertainty to try. To build a home, but to also get ready for the idea that we will lose loved ones. My works talks about my upbringing and what are the things that I used to play with.、Uh, I was asking myself what are the things that I have when I was much much younger. So imagination is one of them, which makes me a very、uh, fascinated person. And then I used to imagine a lot when I was a kid. So I play with things like you know blankets, even paper and stuff like that. But what are those things uh, that uh, we miss out from from then until now? So in this、uh, event, I'm trying to bring up the, the the past of myself as a child, and then to bring back imagination, and then connects back to the audience.、Uh, A kind of a, a playground,、uh, some things that allows me to play with the audience, and then I hope that at the end of of the day, everyone come along and play with me. Title of my work is、uh, unspoken. So the idea was to have a character pulling a, a burden, which in this case is a bed. So it's like a partner. That is going through life because I've always been intrigued by relationships, especially、um, how two people come together and decide to go through a journey and like really like bittersweet relationships.、Uh, this both character is one is really static and the other is it's kind of alive. It's like the other is doing a lot of work to make things work, but at the end of the day, she she still cuts out the heart and she still keeps it. She tries to keep it in hand. So. To actually keep the devotion and and be be devoted to each other. Can't you see? There's nothing left for me. Is a very simple installation that is activated by nine individuals.、Um, it's a very simple performative work talking about the idea of relationships, how we navigate ourselves within society, and how we switch on and off each other.、Um, Metaphorically,、uh, and how the audience、um, read the work.、Um, when I look at the word "devoted," it's really about relationships. You know, live with each other, how we interact with one another, communicate with one another, and hence this simple activation.、Um, it's really as simple as、um, an indication of what relationships are.